Is this new Gogeta good? Yes, well, honestly, almost every new Dokkan Fest this year has been good, but should you summon on his banner? That's the question. And I had to think about it, but honestly, no. His banner is decent, but it is nothing compared to what's coming next. Heroes gives us guaranteed featured units, New Year's gives us guaranteed LRs, Dokkan Fest, and basically a whole lot, New Year's banner, very good. And the anniversary units are always very good, so I wouldn't recommend this one for free-to-play or new players. Welcome to Should You Summon. My name is Waffles the Asian Yen Bear, and this is the series where we take a look at new banners, analyze their value, and I tell you whether or not I think you should summon on them. Now we mainly look at these from a free-to-play standpoint, as free-to-play players need to be more careful with how they use their stones, but of course, banner value applies to dolphins and whales too. So, when we look at this banner, first of all, Gogeta is of course really good. Really strong from the start, uh, falls off a little in longer content, but still pretty strong then. Nova Shenron is a general pool SSR and only really really good against extreme shadow dragon sagas, which is just such a small niche. He's okay against extreme class enemies, but he does have some linking issues. Uh, LR Gobros are just generally great. They are number 6 on my top 10 super tech list, which you should totally check out down in the description below. Uh, anyway, Kefla is really, really cool and does a lot, but as much as I love using her, she's not someone I would say you really just have to have. And Piccolo is kind of the same. He's great defensively, but his status as a Namekian and just an okay category leader make him not really necessary. And full power Goku is ironically power crept. Uh, he's still a good unit offensively, and his counter chance does help him a little on the defense, but he's not a must summon. Tech SS4 Gogeta is basically the same situation as full power Goku, and Omega Shenron is honestly not even the preferred leader for Shadow Dragon Saga anymore. You want to run Oceana Shenron so you can run STR Omega Shenron on Super Battle Road, so he's okay, but he's not great. So my summoning advice is just to stay strong and save. We're about to enter the big wallet draining period of the year for JP, and you'll want to have as many stones as possible to make it through. Now, am I summoning? Nope. I'm tempted to try to get my third dupe of Kefla with my red coins, but that would be just such a bad use of my coins. So I'm sitting here tight, I'm saving for the Heroes banner coming up, uh, Guaranteed Featured is going to make it easy not to spend too much there, but all that being said, let me know what you pulled if you did pull in the comments down below, and I hope you have a good day, a good week, a good life, and happy summons! Goodbye.